this video is a reference when your electrical outlets in your trailer half of them work and half of them don't so this is a 2014 avalanche fifth wheel 36 foot let me show you what I did you have to excuse the mess because it's right now I've been working on it but first thing you're going to want to do if your electrical outlets don't work is check your fuse box this fuse box right here make sure none of those lights are lit up because right here all these lights will light up if you have a bad fuse check your breakers flip them on and off on and off on and off all the time because sometimes they look they're just tripped a quarter of the way they look on but they're not so turn them all off turn them all back on all down here with the power off unplugged from the house or your generator or your electrical outlet tighten all these with a screw with a screwdriver tighten all that second set with a screwdriver tighten these ones tighten the ones to your battery red black and white these are the ones that come from your power cord tighten all those then make sure all the cords under here are tight and this is your panel that goes in the that's it goes in the front I unscrewed it so I could get to everything but if you turn it around it also has the wiring diagram very important this over here tells you the gauge of the wire so only half of your outlets are working when you plug it in or you have it on your generator after you see that all the breakers are good they're all flipped on and off and then back onto the on position all the little fuses there's no lights on then go to your kitchen on your kitchen or your kitchen wall right next to it should be a GFI should have a test and a reset button if there's not one in your kitchen then go to the next place which would be your bathroom so the bathroom right along here it says right there test and reset so hit the button reset it after you reset that your outside plug should work and some of your other outlets should work if they do not work this avalanche is equipped with a washer and dryer and back over here that did not have a GFI but I turned the power off and I unscrewed this outlet because this is where my TV goes and my VCR and this outlet right here all that wire in there there's three cords the power that's coming from your house or your generator this is the piggyback that goes to another set of outlets on the right side of my trailer and this goes to another set of outlets on the left side of my trailer and to the rear these are not GFI protected these are just your regular outlets that don't have any water or moisture that can get to them so these ones are not protected by a ground fault interrupter so what I found out is right in here all in through here these are live these were not seated correctly so this is the main power I checked this one it was fine I checked it with an ohms meter this one had no power this one had no power so I disconnected all the power pulled all these wires out reset this one nice and tight make sure the connections on the right side and on the left side and down the center were pressed and tight and making full contact then with the second one I did the same pressed it down in there make sure it was making full good contact this one same thing making sure it made full contact with each one of those electrodes in there 
those contactors, connectors. Then, this in here along the wall, this has not worked yet. Main reason is, one of those wires that I showed you earlier, this is one of them, this is where it comes. It goes here. This set is also piggyback wires and then the main. So this has to go plugged in. All three of these go right in here just like the other one did. And if you get an ohms meter checker, so if you get your ohms meter and you place it on 750 alternating current and then you know the black goes to the comm and then the red to the voltage and you can test these it's kinda hard to do with one hand Then you can see that it goes to hundred and ten one hundred and eleven. So we know that's hot. You can just get you a nice little ohms meter like this. This checks continuity. It also can switch over to the 12 volt side and check continuity that your battery also has the beeper. But just in case you're having a problem like this in your trailer where only 50% of your plugs work, the ones that are along your wall by your slide outs, back by your TV or your furnace, your fireplace, or along your other slide out, these are not ground fault interrupters. So these are on a completely different circuit. Your refrigerator, microwave, like I said, check the ground fault inter interrupter in your kitchen. There's one right back over there. And also the one in your bathroom. Hope this helped you out.